25 so as y'all know I do this video every time my birthday is coming up <laughs> I'll be 26 on July the 1st but this video is gonna be posted on the first, I just decided to do the video a little bit early, so this is a pre recorded. So, the lessons I have learned being 25, stepping and going into 26. Lessons of learn. Number one, uh, the biggest one I'm learning is to let go. I'm still learning that, but I'm finding it more and more easier as I get older to just, you know, deal with certain things. And I'm finding that as I get older, I'm finding it easier to just, you know, let go of things. Because this this disabled life that I'm in specifically, I can't keep, you know, saying that I want this or saying that I want that. You know, like for example, You know, lately, i just been saying, you know, that's when my dad goes, is, um, I want to see him do, well, I want to see him win. That's as far as it goes. That's as far as it ends. That's as far as it goes. Because, and I had to realize this myself, like, either I'm going to, either I'm going to let the fact that my dad is not in my life bring me down, or I'm going to say, I want to see him do well. I want to see him get his life together. And I, and I do, I want to see my dad do well. I want to see him do great. It, do I, do I, do I honestly think that that's going to happen? Possibly. You know, because I believe that change is in everyone, including myself. And I've changed and I've grew. Do I still got a lot of work to do? Hell yes. 
I have a lot of work to do and I'm not done. I'm not done. Am I going as a person? Yeah. And the reason why I say I'm growing as a person because when I was younger, I'd be like, you know, fuck that nigga, or I would be like, you don't motherfucking love me, or or not, or something like that, or you know, I would I would have something. To I would have something negative to say, but the reason why I have this openness to say I want to see him do well is because, you know, that is still my father. Y'all, I look so different. But anyway, um, that's still my father. And right or wrong or indifferent. <laughs> Even though people tell me all the time, like, why would you give a fuck about a person that doesn't give a damn about you? Or why would you have that compassion? I have that compassion because I would once, if I, if I was out here on drugs... I would want somebody to have that same compassion. So that's why, you know, I always say I wish him well. Ain't no bad blood. And if my dad walked into my life tomorrow, clean. And that's unrealistic, but I'm saying... If he decided to give me a phone call like, hey, Raphael, what up, son? How you doing? I would I would honestly say, how you doing? What's going on? And I know I spent a little bit more time on this part, and that's because I had to learn how to be like this way, just have that, that, that thing to say, he's still your father and love him anyway, but love him from a distance, love him anyway and love him from a distance. And so that's what I'm doing. Um... Another thing, I'm working on myself a lot. I'm learning how to not let things really affect me. I'm learning how to drown certain shit out. And that's because, and like I said, this, 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 the, the, the thing when I brought up my dad's situation, that really, it really bothered me. But at a point, you got to get to, or I had to get to a place where, you know what, there's no bad blood at all. Zero. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when it comes down to hmm, my daddy's side of the family, there's no bad blood with them. It's just, I'm not going to allow it to. Stress me out. Now, will it affect me? Yeah. 
Very much so. But I'm not allowing it to stress me out or weigh me down. Another thing. Me keep getting in a relationship and I'm not getting exactly what it is that I want. That's a whip. That's a whip. Because it's like this, right? I can't be in a, a, a relationship and with the girl and she does not come around me. She doesn't come to my house. She doesn't do any of that. I, I um... I no longer want to do that anymore. Mm, because, you know, the only relationship where well, the only like relationship that I felt like was on an even playing field was me and this girl. We went to middle school together. We went to, yeah, we went to middle school together and then we got separated. But still to this day, I know she'll be there. You know what I'm saying? I know that she would come around. But I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But what I'm saying is me as a person going from a five-year relationship to the point where I just said, you know what, I can't do it anymore. Because I, and it ain't just, it ain't just me. I don't think no man on the planet would be with a woman for five years and she don't come see you, don't come, you know, but she expects you to do all the work. She expects you to be right there. And I did that for five years. And then I just said, I'm done. So now what this means is that I'm going to have a more, I'm going to have I'm going to have a real conversation and I'm going to tell the woman what I want exactly. I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. Which, which, I told her, like, y'all don't really understand me. I've been I've been in my residence I live right now for four years. I was living on this street called Twenty Third since childhood. She never once came. And I asked her why, like why you don't wanna come around. I asked her why she didn't Wanna come over here? She don't give me a straight answer. 
But I say all that to say this. There's no bad blood between us. We have two different two different ways of thinking when it comes to being in a relationship. Um because I think when you're in a relationship, it should be, in my opinion, it should be on both parties. Both parties should be doing a part. That's what I think. And that's what I know. And it's one other thing that I want to mention. If you really love the person that you're with, you're going to do whatever it takes for that person. Period. Point blank. It's not going to be, oh, well, Raphael, I want you to go here. I want you to come over to my house. I want you to do this. I want you to do that. Not going to be one-sided. It's going to be, you know, you do for her. She do for you. She, she do for you. You do for her. It's going to be both-sided. That's how that's going to go. Um, so right now, as far as that goes, I'm good on being in a relationship as of right now. Uh huh. You know, I'm good. Next thing, um, so I've been sitting here thinking or looking at myself in the mirror because at some point you got to have some type of self-reflection and you got to look at yourself. And that's what I've been doing. Regardless. I've been looking at myself. I really have. Just to see where I'm making some mistakes in life. You know, see where I can improve, see where I can grow, see what I can learn from. And the biggest thing that I've learned from the most is that you got to have You got to have an open heart when it comes to certain things. You have to be calm in certain situations. And I'm still learning. Um, You have to be understanding. So to speak. But the one thing I'm taking with me as I go into this 26 chapter is that It is that 
that I'm growing and I'm changing. And the reason why I'm growing and I'm changing is because, number one, my friends, this is going to be a long video. I just, I just felt like this needed to be. So if you want to watch it, you can watch it. If you don't, you can leave. Really don't matter. Friends. So as far as my friends go, I'm I'm honestly like tired. They make me mentally drained. They they they're not real genuine people as I see. It. Because it's like every time they always want me to come around, they always want me to be the hype man. But when it's time for me to do something, or I say I have something, they be like, oh, we gonna come, or we gonna show up. Don't know where to be found. You hear the ceiling fan? That's how they. Like, and are they still my friends? Yes, but am I about to be running like a chicken with my head cut off like I used to? Absolutely not. Like, they just had, <laughs> they had a little celebration on Juneteenth. Um... Did I go? Absolutely not. One, because I didn't want to. And two, because of... Well, I'm going to just say because I didn't want to go. That, that, that's the biggest thing. Because I'm getting too old to be going to a fucking birthday party. Um... You know, they're getting old to me, you know. So I like to go to more dark things. Like, you know. Like, for example, I went to um this, this freak show event where they was painting naked well they weren't even naked they had shorts and stuff on but you know what I mean like I like stuff like that birthday party ah. oh. nah um I guess my taste is getting a little bit more up there. But, yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the whole thing when it comes to that. Um, Is there anything else that I want to add to this video? Oh, yeah. Um, when it comes down to me as a person, y'all, I'm a real introvert. I like to sit up in my house. Uh, why do they gotta bring me up? Hold on. Oh, that's that sound. <laughs>
Thank you.